you see a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment in its belly. The door is covered in frost and the bear's eyes are glowing red. This ice bear is a hyper carnivore. Be careful. A gust of freezing cold air rushes to greet you. You hear a low grumble as the bear regulates itself. This is the inside of a refrigerator. The lieutenant takes a peek inside. His hand has found the holster of his gun. Of course, a giant ice bear shaped fridge. Just what we were looking for. Let's see what's inside. The shelves are empty. All you see are crumpled ice cream wrappers with the brand name Revachol Ice City. A handwritten note has been attached to the door. The fridge is huge. It's certainly an eccentric choice, but it is capacious and cold enough, too. But the optics on this are awful, he thinks. We need to be as silent as we can. Shall we go and get the body, then? I'll take the head, you take the feet. The stairs won't be easy, but we'll manage. The two of you. Easily. The body is heavier than you expected, and stinkier. It takes half an hour to get it down to the basement, then ten more minutes to stuff it into the fridge. The lieutenant takes a step back to admire your handiwork. Beautiful. A dead body in an ice bear fridge. This is some of the best body's work I've ever done. You've definitely earned a drink after this. Perhaps even some pagan rites. No, not really. Look at that. What have we done? We stuffed a dead body in an ice bear fridge. This story does not leave this room. He means it. He doesn't want to be the ice bear cop. No, they do not. They need to hear about our uneventful, boring, downright conservative murder investigation. At least we've stopped the body from decomposing further. Now you can conduct another inspection under controlled circumstances. Inside the icy realm of the ice bear fridge, the corpse stands slumped, waiting. <laughs>